We are ready for a week of iconic hikes in Fjord, Norway. Together with my boyfriend, I will visit some of the classic hikes in the region. Our journey starts in Stavanger, and after a cup of coffee, we head out to Egesund to meet our local man and explore the area. My name is Jettel Benson. I'm called the father of the Trollpick. I actually found the thing. So the story behind Trollpicking is quite special. It was actually found just a few years back. Trollpicking got popular very quickly, but after just a few weeks, someone actually cut it off. So it fell down and luckily we were able to put it back on and now it's become more popular than ever before. When you are here and visiting Trollpicken, I recommend you to join us in Coastal Adventures for an action adventure. The landscape is changing dramatically. The mountains become steeper and the fjords get steeper. Next up is Kjærag a large mountain wall above Lysefjorden. My name is Johannes Apom and I work as a nature guide here in the Lysefjord. When people buy guided tours uh, with us, we try to beat the crowds in time and in space. There is a variety of landscapes here. There's so much to explore here that you, you don't really need any other place to go anymore. Steep switchback road bring us down from the mountain towards Lysefjorn. Lysefjorn is an experience itself. You get the feeling of being small under the steep mountain walls. On our way out the fjord, we spot Prekestorn, tomorrow's hiking destination. But first, we need some food and rest. The next morning, we wake up to the sound of sheep and the smell of freshly ground coffee. Here, time stands still. You have time to just be and experience a small taste of the 19th century. But then the sun peeks in through the window and our journey continues towards Prekestorn. What you should remember uh, when visiting Lusefjorden is doing something differently. Why go to Preikestolen in uh, July when everyone else is here? Maybe you should come in autumn, or maybe you should come in spring. Maybe you should come when snow is melting, and maybe you should come when the waterfalls are big. The west coast of Norway have a lot of changing weather. The forecast predicted a lot of rain the coming days and we started to search for the waterfalls. Therefore, Åkrafjorn became our next stop. My name is Robert Meltvon. I am the daily manager of Åkrafjorn Nature. It's not, it's not that crowded here it's, uh, because uh, it's not so well known as uh, many other Norwegian fjords. So it's more quiet and peaceful, I think. So it's like an uh, undiscovered pearl, I will say. It's an uh, old school building which has been rebuilt. It's nice to think about once I was running around here, now I'm the owner of the building and uh, I want to create something here and make something, show this yeah, beautiful <laughs> surroundings. Robert takes us out on Åkrafjorn to show us Langfoss waterfall. The waterfall is 612 meters high. It is named one of 10 most beautiful waterfalls in the world. And it's possible to follow a path up the whole waterfall to get close to the forces of nature. Starting from Åkrafjord, you can travel further north towards the Trolltunga mountain formation. It's a long hike in stunning scenery before reaching the formation that hang out from the rock wall. Unfortunately, this time we didn't have time to do Trolltunga. And instead, we head south and explore its little sister, Himokono, which is located near Haugesund city. A shorter trip with a fantastic view. Mm. 
once again, the fog is surrounding the landscape. Our journey in Fjord Norway is coming to an end and we will return to Stavanger. Thanks for following along and we hope to see you in the Fjords of Norway.